Okay, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I would just like to say in advance, I'm sorry if I sound ridiculously tired. I've been putting a lot of time into Destiny 2 at the moment, so I'm not sleeping very much. We're going to look today at a build that I created for Yin. Uh, she didn't really see very much. It's a bit of a shame because she was pretty strong at one stage. Uh, she is still very good in if you're a good Yin player you can do quite well with her. So this is a build that I created um, to play her as an offlaner. Uh, I like playing melee carries in the offlane. So I've, I've just added the cards that I would actually use uh, in the build itself. Uh, except for the fact that uh, I would put Knight of Asher in just in case. Uh, so we'll start off, we've got Lamplighter, you know why that's in there, it's really cheap. Wards are uh, great, if you're using order you might as well run wards. Or at least have them in there at some stage. We have Cold the Weak, it's going to, as we've discussed before, help you with uh, getting last hits. Especially when you're on the uh, offlane tower. Any help you can get getting last hits uh, is very much um, a good thing because the tower can make it very hard to get last hit sometimes. We have Poised Aggressor, gain 15 basic damage for 4 seconds after entering combat. This is actually a pretty decent card, uh, especially when you are in the offlane, because a lot of the time you are not attacking, you're just sitting there gaining experience off of the uh, minions, so it's a very good card. Give it a try if you've not tried it. We have Tower Strider, which I've talked about before. It's a very, very good card for one vitality cost. Gives you 90 movement speed when you're near the structures. Uh, so you'll be able to dodge attacks a little bit easier while you're on your tower. Then we have Guard Piercer. Uh, as I've said before, it did get nerfed, but it is still very, very good. 16 power, 16 basic armor penetration. It will serve you quite well. Uh, so then, obviously, Knight of Asher, as I just put on. It's an extremely good card at the moment and very worthwhile trying out as a card on its own not running anything else um, the 19 power the attack speed the basic armor the 30 basic damage and all the damage you get uh, after that through elevate can make a very very strong build but the actual build the full build is swamp stalker which gives you 30 bonus basic damage if you are on your own uh, which as an offlaner most of the time you will be then we have Sacred Alchemy, gains shields equal to 20% of damage dealt. Gives you a bunch of power, attack speed, and health. Great card. Uh, and then we have Vampiric Blade, because all that lifesteal on Yin, one of the uh, best things about Yin is her cleave and her ability to lifesteal all her health back super, super fast. So we'll play on that by using Vampiric Blade. Gives you 10 lifesteal stock. And then the 150% lifesteal for 3 seconds is just stupidly strong, uh, especially on someone like Yin. So that is only 9 cards, there are 3 slots left, you can put whatever you want in, chuck the other wards in, wherever they may be, somewhere? 2 and 2. 2 and 2, there they are, Protective Sentry. Uh, pretty much just put anything in there, I mean... Uh, as I've stated before, it's kind of hard to go past uh, 9 or 10 cards a lot of the times with builds. You just end up adding stuff that you're not even going to use, so why bother? Uh, 9 cards is plenty. As far as gems go, we have 4 out level 7 agility. We have Ruthless. Uh, simply just because I felt like putting Ruthless on there, you could easily get rid of this and you know grab another Vitality. Um, or grab fast travel. I don't recommend going for wealthy or anything like that. Then we have lifesteal. So with Vampiric Blade, we're going to end up on 20% lifesteal. Then we have piercing basic. It's just going to make her so much stronger. I don't like her. I don't really like the other options in here for her, apart from maybe duelist. So maybe go for duelist if you don't have uh, piercing basic or if you don't like it for some reason. And then we have relentless pursuit. So you're going to have no combat penalty while moving, uh, while attacking, rather. Uh, it's a very, very strong gem. I strongly recommend taking that on uh, carries. And then for vitality, we have damage reduction at level 7, and we have damage return at level 13. 
So that's the build, guys. Uh, it's got a very, very fancy name of Yin Shields. Uh, name it what you like. It's just a pretty standard build for Yin. Uh, I hope you like it. I uh, hope people are actually playing Yin. If you enjoyed the video in any way, shape, or form, please smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any suggestions for perhaps those three extra cards or what you think of the build in general. And uh, subscribe if you're not already, guys. With that said, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.